One of the greatest challenges of this podcast is trying to identify where lines are drawn. And so to some wellness influencers, vaccines are toxic agents of control that will alter your DNA and enslave you to a capitalist overlord, even if some of the people screaming toxicity take no issue injecting Botox into their faces in the quest for perpetual youth, never realizing that the tox (laughs) means something. Much of the natural versus man-made argument is a myth. Chemistry is chemistry. Plenty of plants are poisonous to us, even in their natural form. But some are able to dance in the imaginary gray zone between organic and pharmaceutical, which brings us to Aubrey Marcus. Now, over a decade ago, the Austin-based trust fund kid founded on it alongside Joe Rogan. And the brand, marketed as promoting total human optimization, skyrocketed to fame thanks in large part to Rogan's star. And the stated goal of Onnit exploits many buzzwords. Quote, We are on a mission to empower as many individuals as possible with a holistic philosophy regarding physical, mental, and spiritual well-being, end quote. Now, Onnit also espouses science in its holistic sales pitch, promising that their products are backed by clinical research, even though supplements aren't required to show any proof of efficacy whatsoever. And that was Rogan's big pitch, that Onnit went and did the research anyway. Like Julian, I was a longtime listener, so I heard him pitched Alpha Brain, their main offering often. And that particular product, which is their biggest seller, is purported to, quote, support cognitive functions, including memory, mental speed, and focus, end quote. Or, as Rogan once said about Alpha Brain, I feel like it helps me form better sentences. <laughs> What, like I am a moron. <laughs> That's it's, it's one. Just a short, short one. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what the research actually concludes. This is from the paper that he was pointing toward. Quote, results of the eight-week study indicate modest improvement to performance in verbal memory for those participants taking alpha brain, trademark, as compared to those randomized to placebo who showed no such improvement, none of the other cognitive domains assessed demonstrated significant time-by-group interactions over the study period, end quote. Now, only a few sentences later, the team writes, quote, while small, the significant improvement in verbal memory demonstrated in this study are consistent with prior research that has examined the cognitive benefits of sen- several individual nootropics found in alpha brain trademark. <laughs> and I keep saying the trademark because remember, this is a clinical scientific paper and alpha brain is all capitalized in trademark. As and usual. This is, <laughs> this is unlike any other study I've read, which because they usually proceed with caution, stating that more research needs to be done, not saying that because these ingredients have been shown, we'll just say, fuck it, this should be good for you. Now, to be fair, the conclusion does state that these results need to be replicated, which I don't believe they have been because I looked over all of Wanit's website and there was no proof of that. But then you discover that two authors of this study both receive funds for consulting with Onnit and that the entire study was funded by anyone? Onnit. Hey, all right. In fact, when creating Alpha Brain, which was formulated by Marcus's stepmother, Janet Zand, a homeopathic acupuncturist. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Homeopathic acupuncturist, does she not use le- needles? <laughs> <laughs> she uses very, very tiny needles. <laughs> no, 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 they can't be needles at all, right? <laughs> Janet Zand, I, I used to, years ago, I took her zinc, like whatever, because oh, they yeah. were in Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, so that's that's his stepmother. and And then she formulated it, and then, Um, Marcus stated that the last piece was really getting a strong medical advisory team and scientific team that's been running our clinical trials. Now, building a science team to run your trials that you're paying for isn't how science works. But for Marcus, it paid off because last week on it was sold to Unilever, the multinational consumer goods company that produces Hellman's mayonnaise, 
popsicles, <laughs> Q-tips, a variety of dishwasher detergents and soaps, and is also the world's largest ice cream manufacturer, which made me wonder, how did the Austin vortex of anti-vaxxing, immune system shaming wellness influencers react to this news? And remember, this is the same crew who often say that COVID-19 mostly affects fat people, and if you're fat, that's your fault. So surely a brand espousing holistic lifestyle styles being sold to one of the largest multinational corporations in the world wouldn't go over well. But of course it did, because all of this influencing has never been about science. It's never been about being holistic. It's always been about money because it always is. So announcing the sale on Instagram, Marcus wrote, quote, out of all of the potential buyers, Unilever stood out. While no one is perfect, they really understand leading with purpose. And I, <laughs> and I couldn't possibly have greater resonance with the leaders on the team that we'll, we will be working with. The good the ones. The principal was even at Burning Mirror, the, <laughs> mirror I left, the, the year I met my wife. Wow. Synchronicity. <laughs> So Marcus goes on to extol their environmentalist environmental focus, though incredibly he overlooked the fact that Unilever's palm oil supplier participates in slave and child labor. Oh, fuck. And despite assurances, a PR campaign insisting the company was looking into it, five years later, the supplier continues destroying ecosystems in poor nations. Wow. Now, Unilever has also had repeated race issues, including forcing an Indian editor to promote its skin whiteners, and more recently, running ads that state African black hair is frizzy and dull and dry and damaged, while a white woman's hair is normal. Oh, yeah. So, in the post, this is how Marcus phrases it. They are helping support racial justice, among other things, <laughs> by helping pass legislation to prevent racial-based hair discrimination <laughs> in the workplace. So that so when, that black folks have normal hair, right? So they don't get when, discriminated against. No, no. When I looked over the years of Unilever scandals, what I found was when they got called out, all of a sudden they started funding things that was the antithesis yeah. of what they got called out yeah. for. And that's exactly, because this was just in November that the skin whitening and the, the hair ad, December the hair ad. So hmm. that, that's, that's, how they, that's how they do business. Now, let's pull back. I love a good underdog story, such as a positive brand built from nothing achieving success. <laughs> and a great exit is inspirational. Again, I work for startups. Like, it's my world and exits are wonderful. But on it is not that story. It was founded by a kid coming from oil money who likes to play spiritual. And even Marcus admits that he started a marketing company before building on it. And while some of their products might be great, and I own one of their maces and I work out with it, the company has been more hype than science the entire time. Can I just and, pause? Their yeah. mace? Their what maces? Is that? <laughs> a mace? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, like, like it's a take. You're gonna love this. It's a take on one of those old like Viking, like you know the clubs that are have the spikes With on spikes? the ends. Right. It doesn't have a spike. It's just an offloading uh, lo a loading uh, tool. So it's a 15 pow mace. It's, which it's the, like the like a kettlebell that's shaped like a little bat, right? Got it. Long, okay. No, right. That's, in, that's an Indian club. It's long. Oh, okay. It's about oh, it's, it's long. about it's about three feet long. Oh, so wow. the very end has most of the weight on it and then the rest of it is the bar and so as you move it away from your body you're forcing your abdominal muscles your pos your um, posterior muscles to pull it back so it's it's a great instrument i mean they and they brought it back i mean i'll give it to them so again awesome you know you need some viking workout uh, equipment matthew i can hook you up but, right. <laughs> yeah. Neutral, yeah thanks but <laughs> <laughs> Nootropics are just next generation homeopathic lozenges, literally. That's in part how Zan made her fortune, as I mentioned. So when reading that post and scrolling through the list of high profile gurus, virtually high-fiving Marcus on his feed, you realize that at the end of the day, all the spiritual posturing, all the talk about service and compassion and self-realization quickly fades when money enters the picture. So destroy an ecosystem in Papua New Guinea, force children to work for free in Singapore, and pressure women in India to sell products to children that make them look whiter. 
So long as the Austin elite can speak better sentences, that's all that really matters.